just in the other room in the other studio having a, a conversation with a fellow co-worker. He said, yeah, man, Elvis, you should be happy you're never having kids. <laughs> I said, well, I know. I may have kids one day. I don't know. He said, no, you don't get it. I said, well, uh-oh, what happened? And he uh-oh. said, daughters, hormones. Oh, yeah. He said, they get to that age where they, they start screaming out, I hate you, daddy, <laughs> <laughs> and things like that. And then I look at Brody. Brody, I've heard of the challenges you've had you know, with daughters. And by the way, your daughters, every time I meet them, they're fabulous. Oh, yeah, it's great. Uh, Jeff and I have daughters, so does Scotty, and we're going to form a new organization uh, yep. just about dad. Can I say it? Uh, uh, yeah, just don't mention names. Oh, of, of course not. No, I'm sorry. Well, you just, well, no, you did. Well, uh, we all have daughters, that's all. Okay. And I said we should come up with an organization called Mine Too. Like, oh, yours, yours stink? Mine Too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's not nice. I mean, if, if your daughters knew you were talking about them like that, maybe they'd have a problem mm-hmm. with it. Well, it give them another reason it. to hate you. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Don't hurt me. Okay, well, Danielle, uh-huh. Bethany, yeah. you were daughters. Yeah. Uh, well, we you were. are daughters, but you were daughters experiencing hormonal changes oh, at one time. It's How the worst. Were you, were you, do you, can you admit that you were a terror? <laughs> yeah, yes. because you're mis- I was miserable. Like, mm-hmm. as horrible as it is for the parents, we don't know why we're doing it. It's like being out of control of your life because you don't know why you're suddenly sad. You don't know why you're suddenly angry. Right. You just are. I would just start to cry for no reason, and it was so frustrating because I had no idea why I was crying. Oh, really? I mean, you could, you didn't just try to blame it on someone. Blame no. it on. No, you don't know why you're doing it. My right. mom would run away from home. I was such <laughs> oh a God. bitch that my father would. I'm not even kidding. My father would come home from work and he would say, "Where's your mom?" And I would say. She left. She said she's not coming back. She was always at the neighbor's house, but she said she was leaving because I was that crazy. That's why I thank the good Lord I have boys. My son is 12. He's going through puberty right now. Well, it's, it's a whole new set of issues. But it's not like, at least it's not the bitchiness. They're okay. not going through the bitchiness. Well, my question is this, yeah. Danielle, Bethany. So <clears throat> if ever you, you took it out on your parents or you mm-hmm. had a problem with your mom and dad, even though they didn't do anything wrong, it's all within you. Yeah. Was it your mom who probably understood what you're going through that you would be cool with? Or was your dad who you went to because your mom was just awful? Uh, or is your, who, like, who was your ally? Or is it, is it different for different people? I think it's probably different for different people. I think I, I think they were both my allies at different times. Like, I would go to my dad. I've always been a daddy's girl because mom just doesn't understand me. But then two minutes later, it'd be like, oh, mom, dad is the worst. Yeah. But really... Don't if you're the parent of a teenage girl, don't take it personally because it's just whoever is in the line of fire. We have bullets going out of our everything, and we don't know who to aim the bullets at, and so we just wow. turn around and lose our minds. Yep. You just you cannot control it. It's the worst. It's like being drunk. You just don't know what's it's happening. It's the same after you have children because after you have kids, your hormones are all going back into place. And so I, now you hate everyone. Oh my gosh! Oh god, it's a house of people uh, hating. Everyone. I would find out. Oh, so and so's coming over to see the baby. Wow, well, we're seeing okay. everybody. Hate well, everybody. Like I remember <laughs> lashing out at my mom, making my mom cry, and feeling so terrible. And then me starting to cry because I felt terrible that I made my ma- mom cry, but I was still mad at my mom. Yeah. Right. So you just the con- you're just conflicted. Wow. And it's then they terrible. tell you, what do they say? Wait till your father comes home. And all then right. your father comes home and he doesn't know what to do with you. <laughs> but like, then he comes home and then you're angry because your yeah. dad's there. This is like poltergeists <laughs> come out when girls get their periods because yeah. it's just nothing but energy. Hello, Ashley. Hi. Ashley, you know what? Your daughter's five and she's already a terror. I mean, she's already yes. <laughs> working your last nerve. Oh. Yes, every day almost. Yeah, oh, it's boy. brutal. We're so sorry. wait until she's 13. Oh, boy. I can't. I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> just keep the just keep the lines of communication going. The most important thing my parents ever did was say, "You may hate me now, but I'm always going to love you." So the day that you decide that you love me back, I'll still be here. This sounds like uh, exactly. uh, uh, the relationship you have with the Exorcist when no. he's trying to <laughs> get the Satan to leave you. It feels like that sometimes. The power of Christ <laughs> compels you. Shut up! <laughs> I hate you. Sometimes we come home and I'm like, "Okay, you need to go in your room because you literally just walked through the door and you're yelling." at me. Yeah. Now, if you have a, like if you had a young son, you wouldn't really have issues with him. He just spends a lot of time uh, in the bathroom with the door locked. Oh, stop. Right. <laughs> that happened last night. I'm like, and could you socks. open the door? And he says to me, Mom, I don't understand why. And I go, here's the thing. If you fall in the shower and hit your head, how the hell am I getting in here to help yep. you? How, right. That's not going to happen. I go, it might leave the door open. Yep, don't right. lock the door. No locking the doors, no. exactly. Yeah, well, Ashley, thanks for listening. Good luck with your daughter, okay? Yeah. Thank you. I need that. All right. Thank you. Well, Froggy, your son, Caden, how old is he now? 
He's 14. He'll be 15 in March. So, so you, you, you okay. So everything's cool with him, though? I mean, you know, he, well, I, he always seems cool to me. And that's exactly it. He always seems cool to you. But to Lisa and I, it's like they don't understand at, I think it's like 12, 13, 14. When they do something, it's not their fault. It's everybody else's fault. It's not theirs. <laughs> right. And you're wrong for punishing them. You don't want them to have a social life. You don't want them to have friends. You're ruining because, their lives. <laughs> because you took something away. But I'm like, but I took it away because you did something. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, Frog, I mean, but you were there while you and Lisa were raising a daughter as well. So, I mean, the difference is what? I'll tell you. I'll be honest with you. My stepdaughter, Lisa's daughter, was the easiest human being on planet Earth to raise. She was logical. She never started any problems. She did her homework. She did whatever was asked of her around the house. We never had an issue. Never, ever, ever. It was amazing. I thought all kids were like that. And then I had my son. You know what I love about this conversation? (laughs) It really touches on everyone. doesn't matter how young or old you are. You could be... Eight years old right now, or you could be 78 years old right now. You understand where you were, or you yeah. trying to understand right. where you are now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I'm 10 years old. I give mom and dad grief and yell at them all the time. Why am I doing it? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, yeah. I guess it sounds like to me you're supposed to be doing it. Right? And also keep in mind, like, the la- one of the last parts of your brain to develop is... Um, judgment and like impulse control and making good choices. And I'm that still waiting for mine to develop. Right, that doesn't develop until your early 20s. Yeah. So when you're 13, 14, 15, you're a moron. And you know what? It's not, it's <laughs> oh, not yeah. your that was That was Bethany, by <laughs> yeah. the way. You are, but she's right. And when we, we, we'll have conversations with other parents, and it makes you feel better because other kids are doing the same thing your kid's doing, oh, so yeah. you feel better. But no matter what, no matter what my son does, I love him more than anything of in the world. I wouldn't change, and I wouldn't change anything about him. No. Yeah, it's a challenge. Hello, uh, Irene. Yeah. You have two daughters. How old are they? Uh, 13 and 6. So oh, wow. Five, you're no, you're, no, you're, like all, you're all over the spectrum. All right, so what oh. do you, but you have a son as well, right? No, no son, just two girls. So I know by the time my 6-year-old has gone through puberty, I'll have no hair. Okay. <laughs> so uh, what, what is like some of the dialogue about in your house? Oh, well, it's the same stuff that Bethany was saying, but sometimes it's like my oldest, for no reason, just cries. And I'm like, well, what's wrong? Don't ask. And I'm like, oh, good God. And like, and I was telling whoever answered the phone, I'm like, this is why mommy's wine fridge is stocked. Yeah. And then the rack next to the wine fridge is stocked. And then the back up to the wine rack, the box is stocked. <laughs> Let's, so, Let's hear it for wine. Wine invented for moms. I yeah. would lose my mind because I never know. And so I'll make a noise whenever she's in a mood. I'll go, eh. Because <laughs> that's like what the attitude is, and I just don't get it. It's just insane. Sometimes. Wow, but, but Irene, yeah. I mean, I, I must assume, and I am assuming that you were the same way yeah. at, the, at that age, weren't? Were you not, or do you not remember that? I was somewhat, but I had a very controlling mother, so I did not deviate. Yeah. I right. was very straight on straight and narrow, but I did have the craziness, but I didn't have the mother who supported the craziness. But isn't yeah. it funny? Alone. When you have kids is when you realize, oh, I need to call my mother and apologize. Yes. Because yes. 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 you're yes. like, Mom, I am so st- – now I get it. <laughs> oh, when I complain to my parents about the way he's acting, they're like, oh, really? I can't imagine where yeah. he got that from. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm scary. still apologizing. Scary, you ready to have kids? No. All right. Uh, you know, so Garrett has yes. a young son. And well, by the way, Irene, thank you for listening. And I, I, thank, thank you. And God bless you. I love you, you guys. God bless love wine. You guys. Let's hear Every for, morning. Let's hear for Napa Valley. <laughs> yeah, Napa. Sonoma. So uh, you have a daughter on the way. Yep. February 1st. Garrett. Yeah. Ready to go? Uh, I I don't know. I I, I want to I want to ask all my female friends and and women out there that like what should I just do? I I, I don't want to ask my male friends what not to do. Isn't just, it better just to like let it happen? Just let her be what she's gonna be. Oh, of yeah. course, yeah. You'll but figure like, it out when you get there. But like, do I invest in scrunchies right now? Not no, yet, no, 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 no. no scrunchies always, are the least of your concerns. Yeah. I always say this. Hair cloud and, and and Amazon Echo comes with a user manual. Kids don't. It's like it should really be the other way around. I could figure out how to work my Amazon Echo. I can't figure out how to work yeah. my kid. Oh, right? they've written millions of books. Scotty yeah. B has two daughters. How old are they? They're six and ten. Oh, they're on their way. So should I get, <laughs> they are cocked and ready to shoot. Should I get, a, should I get an apartment somewhere? Because yes. I'm hearing that I don't want to deal with this. Yes. No, you know what? 
But just as many times as, as girls lash out when they're all of these hormones are firing, they're also sweet and loving in moments. Like you'll be shocked of the Brody's shaking his head. Brody, no. Brody, yeah, but that's because you provoke. You provoke. Well, see, I've oh. already done the Brody take the door off thing. I had to do that already. Because you, you took okay, explain that. Well, my older one was was not being so good one time and kept slamming doors and was talking back and I said, All right, it's over. You lock your door again, I'm taking your door off. And we took the door off. And she had no bedroom door. Sometimes you have to do that. Yeah. Web girl Kathleen, I'm sure you're still a bad daughter. I was the absolute worst. I got suspended from school. Uh, my father caught me having sex in the family pool once oh in the God. middle of the night. Is that oh coming? My gosh. I, I would sneak out all the time. I got bad grades very often. And you know what? They just said to us, be honest and we'll, we'll support you. Just you have to be honest with us about what you're doing. Yeah. There you go. That's the thing. You have to like, if you want your kids to talk to you. So you have to make sure there's that open line of communication no matter how you get it. And just clean out that pool filter. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so scary, uh, I guess you and I, uh, and of course Bethany, well, the three of us are the ones, I guess we're just not having kids. No, nope. I'm just dumbfounded why people would want to put themselves through this. It's I like mean, torture well, for at least 18 years. Well, go ask your mom and dad who yeah. raised you, and you're here because of them. Okay. So, right. yeah, go ask them that question. I'm a little selfish, but, you know, if there was ever an, intri- an inkling of an intrigue about having kids, it's now gone from this past 10 minutes. See, it's but the, see the pros outweigh the cons, though. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah, some days. <laughs> if, <laughs> not if, some days, they don't. If, you, if you make time. a if you make a choice not to have children, perfect. At least yeah. you're honest with yourself. I mean, Nate, you have a child coming in what seven seven oh, months? Oh, seven, oh, seven months no, away no, from a no, 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 no. little 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 Nate Junior. Oh, no. <laughs> right. oh, you know yeah. what's amazing? No, no, no. You know what's amazing to me? <laughs> my sister and my brother-in-law just had a baby, right? And he's two weeks old, and. And my brother-in-law didn't even know how to hold a baby. Like, mm-hmm. someone would hand him a baby, and it would be like, what the hell Did do I do? Like Simba? Yeah, it was weird. So we, you get nervous. You're like, oh, is he going to be okay? As soon as his baby came, it is like he's an expert. There you go. It just clicks. You just know. And yeah, you make mistakes, but you learn from those mistakes. And, you know, but it's just, it's amazing to watch him now with his son. It's, it's so cool. From the other side. And I think I've talked about this on the show before. My father, who was about to pass away close to 90 years old, you know, you always think of your mom and dad as having all the answers and being perfect. And, you know, you look to them for what everything, everything basically. He admitted to me, he said, you are always scared. And just because you're a parent doesn't mean you're still not growing up yourself. So what you have in, in every household or you have a parent and a child who are both still yep. evolving. That's terrifying. It is terrifying. That's terrifying. You, you think mom and dad are you think they're your 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 rock. They you think of them as your total structure. They're still scared about stuff of too, course. you know? And yep. anyway. my mom was like 22 or 23 Mine when too. she had her first kid. When I was 23, I was a hot mess waking up in bathtubs. There you go. And my mom was like <laughs> baby Right. And then yep. another one. And another one. I'm in the one. process of trying to teach my 15-year-old how to drive. And I realize that one day I'm going to give him the keys to the car and he's going to drive away from the house. And that is so terrifying oh, so to me. so scary. Okay, so the, just uh, piggybacking what you just said, Bethany, uh-huh. I think we're all a bunch of hot messes waking up in bathtubs. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So who in this room has a right to raise a kid? All of us. <laughs> That's the whole point. Everyone, <laughs> except for scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even want scary to have a plant in the house. No, no, no. no. <laughs> like I said before, he can't even keep a sandwich alive. No. All right. Remember the time you dropped Greg T's daughter, Jada? It was an accident. I didn't know how to hold her. <laughs> Two seconds he was with her. Two seconds. You fall on dolphins. You're, no, you're not good. I didn't expect Run. her to move like that. <laughs> dolphins move. <laughs>